think it was a good idea letting him stay. Well, it's not like he was in any condition to do anything. Did you see his clothes? It's like he came out of a bonfire. I mean, I could have, uh, you know, called an ambulance, maybe dropped him off near a hospital would have been better. I, I just don't think I'd feel comfortable with a complete stranger just ending up sleeping in our house is all. Oh, honey, you worried about the kids. Or some worried about the kids. He's sleeping right next to them. How can I not be? What if he's faking, Val? We could stay here to make sure nothing happens, if you're that worried. All night? <laughs> of course all night. Come on, don't you want to spend time with me more? You are done updating your site for the anniversary. How about we just sit here in the living room and watch some TV while we keep an eye on the kids? I mean, uh... Sure. I guess. Yeah, I guess we could do that. I, I, I've just got to go make sure one more time nothing's wrong, all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay right here. But don't take too long. <laughs> you worry too much. <gasps> what, uh, what was that? Uh, hello? Is someone there? If anyone can hear me, please respond immediately. Who is it? What's going on here? Oh, uh, it's me, Michael. Uh, look, there's no time to explain. Just know that you are in grave danger. Is Scott there with you? My husband? No, he isn't. He, he just went to... What do you mean I'm in danger? Uh, Ma'am, I am very, very sorry. This is all my fault. You need to stay calm. I'll try to help you through this. Just please listen to me very carefully. What? Listen, there are monsters that are going to arrive to your room real soon. If they see you, you are dead. Do you understand that, ma'am? It is very important that whatever occurs, just don't let them see you. All right? I... I... I, I know, I know. Look, just... You're in the living room, right? Try to focus on the three entrances behind you. The exit to the house should be locked and they won't come through there. If there are any monitors nearby, then they should be forced to produce a camera system for you. Ma'am, is the TV in your living room turned on? Uh, yes, but it's filled with static. Uh, all right, uh, please keep an eye on it. It should help you. Look, they usually come from either the left side or the right side. You have nothing to stop them, so if you see one of them about to enter the room, just hide. Hide? Hide where? Uh, just... Look, look, just stay out of sight, okay? Yes, if they try to come in, just move somewhere they won't be able to see you, okay? Well, and I don't know which one will come from which side, but if you look at the TV, you might be able to tell by yourself. Uh, and maybe if you can, try to see if you can look through the doors, too. Uh, windows, uh, keyholes? Yes, uh, keyholes! If any of your doors has a keyhole you can peek through, keep checking it. They won't notice you on the other side. Trust me. Uh, so yes, I, I can't stress this enough. If anything comes through those doors, hide. Just hide away from view. You might hear noises later on in the night. Pay attention to those. Don't look at anything that appears in your room and try to stay safe. Please. Do, do I have to stay here all night? What about my children? What about my husband? Look, it's very hard to explain, ma'am, and no, just wait until 6 a.m. to be safe. But, but, but don't worry, the time will pass much faster. Just keep an eye on the clock and wait for that time. They should all be gone in a few minutes, and then the hours will reset. Now, please, if you survive, I need you to grab your kids and get out of this house as soon as possible. I'm gonna help Scott get out of here myself. Don't worry, just please get yourself and your sons out of harm's way. I... I don't understand what is even happening. How do you know all of this stuff... Wait... Wait a second. How do you know my husband's name? I was there when he found you, Michael. He never said his name. How do you know? Michael?